question I had in class was having a stroke wrap around an object. Uh, you really need a third-party plugin for that to work. It's called 3D Stroke. But you could try and fake it one of two ways in After Effects. Let's say I have the letter I. Make that a little bit bigger. I'm dragging and then holding down Shift just to keep it the way that I want it. And I will... With nothing selected, I'm using my pen tool. If something was selected, then I'd start masking. Oh, I am masking, see? I had the, the letter I selected. So we don't want that. Sorry about that. I didn't listen to my own advice. Now with nothing selected, Command-Shift-A. I'm going to start dragging. There we go. There's no fill, you know, but you would click the word fill and hit none to turn it off if that's what you needed. Stroke you need to give it a solid. It's already been done from the last time I'd used it. Okay. I'm going to make both of these layers 3D, then add a camera. Uh, depth of field enabled, shallow depth of field 1.8, you know, 35 millimeter. This is fine for what we're using. The camera tool is up here at the top. There's four basic tools, but I usually only use three. There's unified camera, where you rotate everything. Orbit, I don't really use that one. Pan, move from side to side, excuse me, or up and down. And then last but not least, zoom in, zoom out. So now that we're in 3D, I'm gonna click the pen tool, click on one of the points, then I get my select tool so I can start editing these points. To try and cheat this look, which I said is very difficult because you're truly not working in 3D, really. So if I change my camera, you see they're on the same plane. I'll tilt this a little bit, but I can get this last part. I will, again, like I said, use the pen tool, select a point, and grab the anchor tool. I can always just change this. Position in Z. But these are basically always going to be on the same plane. But I can animate the. I use the axis right there to change the, the rotation. So now it is wrapping around in that fashion. That's how we got there. See, I'm rotating with the camera. You can see it is going around it. And once we start covering 3D and you extrude these out, you'll see how that works. But I'll keep this at an angle so you can see it going around it. And as I said before, you're going to have to change the rotation to accomplish this effect. A little time consuming, but in principle, this is how you do it. Changing my curve such so you see it is going around the shape we just had to rotate the axis that the stroke was on and since it is a stroke as I said before you can add trim paths to it make sure your select arrows selected add trim paths and it will animate on and around the letter so we'll change the end to zero Let's say we want it to come on right here at the one second mark. So I'm going to click my start, have it go in one second, I guess, just random number. So in that one second, it's now going to animate around the letter. And since we're working in 3D, we could also change the camera, animate that, while that's animating on. So, not the camera options, it's your transform properties. So I'll grab all these. Add a keyframe. Move the camera. Let's just stop it right like there. So you see the camera moving, the lines animating in, and going around. That's a quick solution. You can keep doing several of them. One more thing I want to show you. I have nothing selected, Command Shift A. 
I'm going to use my pen tool. Let's undo. I'm going to make a straight line. Nothing selected. We've got a straight line. I'm going to make this one yellow just so you can see the difference. Like a yellowish gold. Okay. Now, if I have the effect CC cylinder to that stroke, I get the same curve that had happened messing around with it in 3D space. Let me just move that position up. It's now a cylinder. And let's see if that is, yep, it's three-dimensional. So it is reacting with the camera. Come on. See, I'm changing the position here in the effect. So if I want this to be like right around the top of it, that's fine. You could change its position in any axis. You want the Z closer or further from the camera. As I said before, you could do just the outside, so you're not seeing the back half, if that's what you want. You do just the inside, which is the other side. Or you can do both, full and back. Light, you could change the light intensity of the effect. And shading, you change the same shading intensity, intensity of the effect. Sorry about that. Now, let's see what happens I'm going to keep this here, and I'm going to add a new light, just to see what happens. I'm going to make this color, what don't we have in the scene? I'll make it blue. I'll change the intensity. I'll crank it up to like 324. Now, you'll notice the letter I changed its color. I'm going to move this light up. go back to that stroke this has its own independent light so bear that in mind this is being lit by a white light even though everything else in the scene is getting hit with a blue light so the original shape you can't see it because of where this light is right here I'm going to change its material option right here in material options and I'm going to if I change the accepts lights to off you can now see it again the reason why you're not seeing it is because this line has no extrusion, has no depth. We'll get over that when we do 3D, but if you extrude it, then it will start hitting, uh, the light will start hitting it. Right now it's just paper thin. But I just want you to show what happens when you put a light in with CC cylinder. It has its own light source. So if I wanted to make it look like the blue light that's hitting the eye is affecting the cylinder as well, the one quick fix to that is to change the cylinder light from white to blue and you'll start getting more of a blue cast to it but you see it's not really working that successfully so bear that in mind if you're going to be using cylinder and combining it with 3D shapes